Morning guys. So today we're still going to be doing some simple subtracting. Um, I hope you find it easy enough yesterday. I'm sure you did because it's all skills that you we've learned already this year. Um, now the first question today, we're actually going to be using three digit numbers and one digit numbers where yesterday we were only using two digit numbers. So the first question says 345 take away one. Now take away or subtract one just means what number comes before 345. So we know the number before 345 is going to be 344. Any number that ends in 5, the one before is going to be a 4. Okay. Now for question number 1B, um, we're going to use number bonds to help us with this one. So it says 345 take away 4. Now we know 4 is in the 1s column. So we only really need to look at the 1s for this one. So we're just going to pull apart... 345, we're going to pull apart the 1s, which is 5, and leave the 100s and 10s alone. So that's 340. Make sure you put the placeholder there, so you don't think it's 34, because that's a very different number. Okay. Now we can look at 5, take away 4. Remember, it's not going to be 4, take away 5. It always has to be the bigger number first. 5, take away 4, is 1. So we're going to have to add, we know that this is going to be 1. So let's add them back together. So 340 adds 1. Remember, you can you can kind of hear it in your head. 340 adds 1 is 341. Easy. Now, for the next question, I've done the number line um, two different ways. Just to show you that you need to keep an eye out. Sometimes they might try and trick you with which way around they, they show your number line. So our first number line starts on the left with 209 and goes all the way down to, I made a little bit of a mistake there, but it's supposed to be 199. So on the left is the biggest number, we're going down to the smallest number. So if we're going to be taking away, we're going to start with 209 and we're going to take away 8. So we're going to start here and we're going to be taking away 8, subtracting 8. So it's going to get smaller, so we need to make sure that we're doing our leaps in the smaller direction. So we're going to do eight leaps. Let's count eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we end up here. Can you see what this number is? It's a little bit tricky because the line's going through it. 201. So 209 take away eight is 201. But the second number line, they look quite similar. I've just, I think I changed my mind and laid them out different so it's a bit easier to see but this one we start with 200 and we increase to 209 so on the left is the smallest number going to the biggest and this one is the biggest number going to the smallest but we can use both number lines we just have to be careful where we start and which direction we do our, our leaps in so we're starting with 209 that bit's easy trying to find 209 is easy it's right there at the end might not always be at the end, but just in this number line it is. And we're subtracting 9, so it's going to be 9 smaller. So just check, 209, 208, 207. Yeah, it's getting smaller this way, so I want my leaps to go this way. Now we're going to do 9 leaps, so let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we end up here. What number do we end up at? We end up at 200. Okay. If we want to check this using our base 10, that's we can do that. Even if we don't got base 10 cut out, we can just draw our own. So we'll do 200, 100 squares. So we're going to do two squares. One, two. How many 10s have we got? We've got a zero. We've got a placeholder and 10s. So we don't have any 10s. And we've got nine ones. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones and we're going to be taking away nine remember if, we, if we're using base 10 we don't need to make this number because we're not adding them it's just taking away so we're going to have less base 10 so let's take away nine ones we're going to take away one two three four five six seven eight nine now what for we left? I've just got two hundreds left. So yeah, that's right, two hundred. That's it. Uh, now I know in your big booklets, in the workbooks that you have, you're going to have questions 
where it says to cross them out and not everybody most people don't have printers in their house so they can't print them off to actually cross them out so it might be easier for you to just draw it like this it doesn't take too long just do like a square and that would be your hundred a line and that can be your ten and then across can be a one and then make sure whenever you squiggle them out make sure that you squiggle up across it out completely so don't just put like a line like that because you might forget or you might think that it was maybe just a mistake and your pencil ran so make sure when you're squiggling it out squiggle it all out so it's really really clear that that one's been took away okay year three right good luck and i'll see you again tomorrow for some more maths